Hello. Today I'd like to talk about a null modem connection uh, over serial uh, with my motherboard project here. So just give you the rundown what we got going on. We've got the uh, large ATX board with the uh, seven slots. Um, got a B20 processor, got our 512k of RAM sitting over here, video card, and then a uh, serial port. Have the uh, mouse connected to one, and then I've got a null modem cable connected to the other. Oh, I hate it when they do that. All right, so you can clearly see that it says null modem. So if you're doing this, make sure yours, uh, the cable's got null modem written on it. And all that means is the uh, RX and TX pins are uh, inverted across between the two computers. So, behind it I've got a standard PC. This happens to be a Pentium. It's running uh, DOS 6.22. Both of them are actually going to be running DOS 6.22. And I've got it plugged into the back of the uh, PC there. I've got my little screen. I don't have two large screens to work with. Connected to the off-the-shelf PC. I've got my large screen connected to my uh, project. Now to test out this connection, I'm going to use InterServe and Interlink to share the drives, basically. That's, I think, all... Well, it also sh shares the ports. Um, eventually, I'd like to get a uh, like a terminal an attempt to connect to this board through a term like a dumb terminal coming off of my modern PC back there. So we'll go ahead and boot this up. Uh, we'll boot up the modern PC first. The server needs to be running for interleak to connect. Just give it a little bit of a head start. While it's booting up, let me talk about interserve and interlink. So in the auto exec on the server, you just run interserve forward slash com colon one forward slash bod 19200. And uh, you don't need to designate the, the com or bod rate, but uh, you, you can. There's some defaults built in. Uh, I just found it's better to do it this way. On the other on my main, on my uh, project in the config uh, .sys, you add device uh, equals c colon backslash dos backslash interlink, and that's how it connects. Uh, so anyway, the the uh, server's booted up. We'll just take a. You're not going to see this. But it doesn't matter. But if you, it just boots up and it just sits at this screen, oh, we might be able to get it in focus. You can see that it's got what it's got. It's got an A, a C, and then here at the bottom it's just got your connection port and speed and transfer rate. Really you don't even need a, a screen at all on that uh, computer at all. I used to do this years ago uh, just to, you know, when hard drives were smaller I did this to have a uh, extra drive space on an on a old computer I had. It actually took me a minute to remember how to set all this up. Or try to boot up. Yeah, the screen doesn't auto detect that the uh, VGA's input's coming in. It works with the HDMI, so I have to hold the on button. Now, this still is running at 5 megahertz. I guess I could have slapped in my 10 megahertz board for this project. Okay, so you can see Microsoft Interlink started. It says port COM1. They're both connected to COM1 on each PC. And you can see that it remapped drive D is equal to A on the Pentium. Drive E equals the C drive on the Pentium. And LPT2 equals the LPT1 on the Pentium. So, you can see we just hit DIR on our main PC here. And it went pretty quick. Let's just go to the E drive. Came through. 
Now this is going to take forever. It's almost a gig. It's going to take forever to calculate the free drive space. So, um, you can copy files between the two drives. You can run files off of the Pentium onto my computer, as long as they're built for an 8088, that is. Um, but it's slower because our baud rate is uh, 19200. And, uh, you know, so you're not like lightning fast here. I can't remember, it's been a long time, that you can go a little bit faster, but I can't remember if the serial port ma uh, maxes out at a certain speed or not. The, uh, it will connect through the parallel port, I'm not sure which one would be faster. I've never tried the parallel port with this. Um, I could scan back over here. Let's just see if we can get that to focus on this. I wish I had a larger screen to show you. You can see... Let me just take this off the... Just take this off the tripod here. See if we can get that to focus in. You see that transfer? Okay, it's it just finished. Right there where it says transfer in the lower corner, it'll say reading. Let me just do that one more time. it says reading so that that's what was going on on the server and now that it's already done it will go a lot quicker um, let's try the D colon it's gonna say insert disk or fell there you go go back to the E I'll have to try that floppy drive out um, so anyway that's uh, a simple demo of a null serial cable, no modem serial cable working between my project and a off-the-shelf PC. Now, like I say, I, I would like to, on a regular PC, like a, a modern PC of today, I'd like to do a um, connection like with a dumb terminal and see if it'll work. It, it should work as long as we get all the software worked out. So, Anyway, thank you for checking out my video today.